My next guest this evening spent most of his teenage years as star of The Wonder Years and can currently be seen on the NBC series Working. Please welcome Fred Savage. I gotta say, Fred, this is weird for me because I think it was back in, would have been probably 1989 or 1990, mm -hmm. I was a writer on Saturday Night Live. 1990, yeah. And you hosted, I think you were 12 mm -hmm. at the time. And I wrote a sketch for you where you played Superboy. Yeah, that got cut, it got cut. Thanks, pal. Right during that, well, no. This is actually, I've been, I've been harboring this for a while because it got cut um, during, on air, during the, t and I, I remember, yeah. And I was upset because I really liked, I really loved that sketch and I got to do, it was this great sketch with, like John Lovitz and Phil Hartman and Dana Carvey, it was you know all these. I don't know how people. I managed to get them to be in it, but well, uh, we got and but then but then it got cut and I felt really badly about it. And then like a year later, exact same sketch, same character, same dialogue, the same costume that they fitted you know me in, uh, and it was Macaulay Culkin doing that. Doing That's that right. Sketch. And it's still bomb. And, and it's and did it? How did it do? <laughs> what? I don't. I forget how it I did. Was, I was so embittered. I, it was my. It was my sketch. <laughs> You know, and I, and I felt so you were like a 13 year old so kid, yeah, just screaming at just, the. It just anger. Were you puffing on a cigar that should have been mine? Yeah, well, it was after that. I needed to. <laughs> the uh, no, it was, and I remembered you. Uh, it was very funny because at Saturday Night Live, you're always getting these hosts who don't know what they're doing in one way or another, and and this guy at the age of 12 was more professional. I remember coming in to give you a script change at the last second, uh -huh. and you were playing like a Game Boy or something. <laughs> you're a kid. You're 12. And I said, uh, okay, uh, don't panic. And I was kind of condescending probably because mm. you're, you know, I was like, now, Fred, there's a little change. And you're like, right, 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 page four, towards the end. The line changes from this to that. I got it. Don't worry, Conan. And then you go back to playing. <laughs> I was like, that kid is good. <laughs> he will work again, yeah. I'm quite sure. Uh, you're in New York right now. Are you having a good time? Yeah, you're... having a great time. I have really spent a lot of time here before. So I had a chance. A lot of my friends came in town, and so we're all walking around the streets and, and uh, kind of, eating and going shopping and mm -hmm. enjoy, enjoying it. Yeah, what, what kind of stuff have you uh, done? So, I heard you had a little bit of it, because New York, there's some, there are some freaks running around, especially this time of year. Yeah, no, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I fortunately didn't run into any freaks on the street, but I, one came to visit, visit me. And uh, I, was, I was in my hotel room, and like, I got um, flowers were being sent up, and they said they had flowers. I said, oh, that's great, you know, I like getting flowers. Right. And so this delivery, delivery man came up with the flowers, and... Um, you know, it's kind of this gruff looking guy, and I'll sign the thing, and he says, you know, do you know who I am? You know, we, we've met before, do you know who I am? You know I said, I don't know who you are. And he said, well, I'm, he got really angry at me. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I'm, I'm your father. I'm your dad. Why don't you remember me? It was kind uh -huh. of very, like, Star Wars moment for me right there. And I was like, right. well, I was like, well, I, I guess I don't, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't remember you. And so right. I was kind of <laughs> trying to fill out the thing and sign my name, and he listed off all these people that I should know, and I didn't know any of them. And, and he, you know, he... He, he looked at me one last time and said, well, I bet you know Michael J. Fox. And he turned on his heel and left. Well, and he sure my, told uh, you off. Yeah, well, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. So. See, those, that kind of thing happens to me, except it really is my dad. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll see. I'm like, look, old man, come on, move along. Yeah. I raised you. Uh, what, what, kind of stuff have you what kind of stuff have you bought so far while you've been here? Well, we, well, we, we took, uh, me and my friends took a trip. We had to see FAO Schwartz, so we had to go see that. We bought uh, two fantastic toys. One of them, we got a set of uh, Darth Vader walkie-talkies, which we took into the park. Which uh, not only can you talk, <laughs> not only can you talk normally, but they have a feature where you s slide a button and you sound like Darth Vader on the other on the other on the other end. Uh -huh. So those were a lot of fun. Uh -huh. and, um, <laughs> and then it just does the <gasps> kind of sound. You well, just... no, you actually it, it sounds like you know you have a frog in your throat, kind of. But right. you don't have to do it because usually when you. <laughs> When you, when it's you, not that hard. Well, but 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 right. any effort that I would have put in, I could save for other things, like running around and stuff. <laughs> and then uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the other thing I bought was a total, just total comp compromise of all my all my beliefs. Is that all these like these all these like real fad toys, all trendy right. toys of the Tickle Me Elmo and all these. Uh, the, so I got you know those little virtual like pets. Right. They have on the keychain. They chain. have a name. It's the, the there's a Japanese name for them. Like, I, I forget. I, I named mine Owen. You, oh, you named it Owen? I named it Owen. And you have, and are you, because you, those are difficult, you have to feed them regularly? You have to, and, well, and I hated these things, and they were so annoying, and I bought one, and it's uh, uh, unbelievable. 
-hmm. I love playing with it now. I kept it alive for five days, which there's a, uh, and, and the, thing, the best part about it on the package is every day is equal to one year on mm -hmm. their planet. Right. And so they give you, they give you like this little sheet in the instruction book. And it says like how you do according to how long you keep it alive. And like six to 11 is like needs improvement. That's an 11 year old kid you're killing. And it's like, well, that, it needs improvement. Uh -huh, you know, it's okay, uh -huh. but you'll get better. Have another one and kill that at 15 and you're making progress. Did you, uh, did you talk to it through the walkie talkie and go, Owen, oh, I am your father. <laughs> I haven't done that. No. If you do that, it'll freak it out. Yeah, yeah. Be very scary. I gotta mention this because we're out of time, but uh, working is on Wednesday. It's at 9.30 p.m. on NBC. It's mm -hmm. doing quite well. Mm -hmm. And it's really, uh, it's very cool for me to see you again after all these years. I'll write you something better next time. Oh, thank I you. I promise. Fred Savage, everybody. <laughs> Delbert McClinton coming up. We'll be right back. That was great.